Hey housemates. We in the house. Guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. I'm Dumi. And I'm Sandy. So. And this is the Nguenya's house. Yes. And welcome to another living, yo, another episode of living. Guys, every time we try to record, like, if you've watched our channel, I'm sure during sit-downs, if we're shooting during the day, there's somebody who decides, well, no, I'm going to come and blow the leaves or maybe cut the grass downstairs. And yeah, it's like every time they are on cue when it's time to record, mzim, mzim. so if you hear any mzim, mzim, mzim sound in the background, just know we have neighbors um, who are maintaining their yard, <laughs> which we don't have. Conveniently. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, guys, it's been a minute since we've um, recorded uh, recorded a recorded a podcast. Um, this is this is episode five, I think. Yeah, this is episode five. It's been a minute. There's just been a lot of changes that are happening, but um, yeah, we were got we made the time today to record, and we should be back in two weeks with another episode of Living. What are we talking about today, my baby? So the reason why we are talking about um, this is because most of the times we get asked. I get asked a lot. I think people are just like this little one. I got forced <laughs> to get married. Like literally, it's I don't know. Is it says. like, especially when I don't have makeup, people think like I'm young or like Mom Gloria. The other things. Is, oh yeah, I've always been wondering with your cheeks. Like I think I have very young cheeks. <laughs> I like to think like I look old. But anyway, anywho, like a lot of times the conversation comes. Oh, you are so young. You got married. 2018 was, a, what, four years ago, yeah. Mm. So, I was, yeah, I was 23, and it felt so natural. It felt so natural, mm. and it was... Just it like was anything so, else now. Yeah, it was just, just like, just, it yeah. felt so natural, like everything else in our relationship. It was not forced. There was no external factors or anything like that. But now, looking back in hindsight, there are actually things that contributed that we always talk about, like, by ourselves, like, oh, but, you know, um, a lot of people actually... One thing that's the biggest one I think we think from what we've spoke about before was the fact that we actually fat and said. Yeah, we've practically been living together ever since we got we said to yes together. We didn't dating. plan we didn't plan uh, we didn't plan to do it. It just just like the like Duma was saying, hey, like everything in our relationship has happened naturally. We didn't plan it. It just it just kind of happened and it just slotted into our lives, our separate lives, it just slotted into that. And then it, it just went from there. But looking back at it now, um, I think it's, it, was, it, was, it was great to actually do that because, bro, I'm from Swaziland. Like, I was raised by parents who are from Swaziland. Dumi is from the Free State. She's raised by parents from Ekwakwa. Like, were, two, were people from two totally different cultures, totally different backgrounds, totally different upbringing. We've experienced totally different things in life. Um, you know... We have different like, perspectives on life. Different we had different roles. Like, like, our goals were different at the time. Our yeah. priorities were different at the time. Yeah. But here we were deciding, like, you know what? We actually love, like each other, and we yeah. want to try and get get into a relationship staying together was pretty good because we got to without even realizing it we got to actually debunk those differences and like actually see the things in our differences that worked for the both of us and um the things that I needed to learn from do me and things she needed to learn from me, things I needed to unlearn, things she needed to unlearn, you know, all of those things without even realizing it. That, without mm. without yeah, without even realizing it. So like that that fat fighting and setting helped us actually wipe away a huge part of like if we were if like yeah, a huge part of the doubt and if we're like to be like yeah you know what hey we're dating we don't like live together 
we don't live together we just see each other from time to time and then now all of a sudden mm. then now we get married and, and we get shocked. the big sh- a huge shock of our life because mm. like i don't know you bro yeah like, and it's, it's so <laughs> like, big because it's in the little things <laughs> like if we can even unpack from when we started dating mm. when we started dating i was adamant that i want to sleep at my place but at that time i was mm. still like kind of not comfortable with the fact that i drink my pills so they really not me out i can't pretend sleep which is <laughs> the, the pretend sleep is part of now i'm gonna fart in my sleep i'm gonna snore i'm gonna do all of this and mm. most of the times when girls are in dating are dating they hide they don't poop one yeah they yeah. don't like pooping farting, farting like those burping, are not a thing that snoring, happens snoring and like everything so i always wanted snoring. to go to my place and because <laughs> there is a stigma and there's this shame around fat and said if i slept at his place i would um luckily we lived two floors from, from each, each other. other so in the morning i wouldn't bath at his place i would go to my place to bath to to still feel that control you're like oh okay i live at my place but it was actually um stupid because why am i hiding so many things yeah. from from someone who's supposed to be my partner at the time my mm. boyfriend and sandy was sandy so it was the first thing that he expressed being uncomfortable with the fact that like i want to do like go bath at my own place and like i don't even poop or shit yeah <laughs> like, it's oh, weird I, i don't poop no, or it's fart. Weird because we eat <laughs> we eat together all the time and like you eat together all the time i mean this person like, is eating why are they not are you co- like are you sick <laughs> like is are is there something okay? is there something wrong with you? Are you okay? <laughs> is there something wrong with you? Like, like I mean, it's healthy to go and take a dump. <laughs> like, you've been eating food. <laughs> it's healthy to have gas. You've been eating food. Yeah, like, like so that was the first thing, and then um, <sighs> then uh, we finally gave in, and we we're like, you know what? It's fine. We live together. But we never officially said we live together, but we spend all our time together. Yeah. I'll just go to my place if I needed more clothes or um, Sandiso's dad showed up randomly or their parents showed yeah. up randomly. But other than that, we were together all the time. So the first lesson was, no, you can't be hiding parts of your life from me. And parts of your life are as simple as farts and stuff because... Are you gonna hide that you fought for a year of dating someone? Then they propose and everything. Then they realize they're allergic to your farts or like yeah, your like your farts so... are really bad. I can't handle them. Mm. And at the same time, you know, <laughs> when we're talking about this, obviously we're talking from we're talking from our own perspective because mm. for some people that's really disgusting. Mm. But you like the the point is that you don't get to discover these things unless you're spending you're, you're living together you can spend time together but if it's planned already in your mind you've prepared yourself to be the a certain person like with because a certain person with your partner like obviously it's not like it's a it's a rule of thumb or it's a thing like everybody's like that but when you live together you get to end up dropping your guard or dropping your guard and just being yourself because i mean i wake up next to you um or talking from perspective of being in varsity because i started in varsity i wake up next to you you go to class you come back to me you know there's not a lot of time to slot in Mm. for you to kind of like be okay you need to hype yourself up because now i need to remember let me not fart let me let me let let me okay if i feel like i have a dump let me hold it i can i'm going to go fetch something from my place you know you don't get to hype yourself up for us the fat and setting what it really what it really did was (laughs) i'm gonna go back to the unlearning things because I mean, there were there were certain things which I would find normal that uh, are not per se say normal to do me. I'd find things that for me I like doing something this way, but it doesn't make sense to specific. It doesn't make sense to do me. For example, I don't I don't know like you can do the music example. Yeah, like for example, for me I find it no like at at my place yeah. I'd always be playing music like 
I, even right now, when I work, I need to focus on something. I can't focus when it's silent because then my mind ends up going to places. But I, when I work, I like to have music. When I clean, I like to have music. But for Dumi, that's just noise. It doesn't matter if the song she likes. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's noise. It's noise. <laughs> I don't like noise. <laughs> that was actually the first compromise that had to be done in this relationship. I, as soon as I get in the door, like there's like that, I go to the bathroom because I'm coming from the office. Like that's now. And he will be like, it, he will push for it five minutes, but he'll see I'm very uncomfortable. Then he'll switch it off eventually. But at the start, that was the first mm. compromise. So that was a decision also from his side saying, am I going to live with this now? Because mm. I love my music. I love, he mm. loves, you love playing music loud. Like you've seen, even if I play music in the bathroom and I really wanted to listen to gospel or something while I bath, mm. it's never on loud. It's like literally yeah. on a space of, I can hear it. It's enough, but silence yeah. is my thing. So yeah. that was the thing. That, that was that was one thing. Another it thing was not is, even. I think it's not on the unlearning because there's unlearning and then there's compromises yeah, yeah. that we had to do. No, I had to mm. unlearn it because it's a habit. Mm. It's a habit. Like it's a habit. If I'm going to clean, even now I still do it. Like when I'm going to clean, like when you're at work or something, and I like I'm going to tidy up or whatever. The first thing I do is I play music. It's a habit. Mm. I play music and then I start cleaning. Mm. I don't like just because like if I'm just washing one dish, you know, it's fine. But if I'm going to tidy up, I play music. Mm. Even um, at night, if I have to wake up, uh, if I have to wake up at like say three o'clock because there's work that's true in the morning or something, I play music. It's mm. it's 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 a habit. So I had to unlearn doing that and learn to do it at times where it's not going to be bothersome to you. Another thing is learning that to me is not a morning person. For me, I'm a, <laughs> for me, I'm, I'm an energetic person. So uh, energetic is the wrong word. Um, you are. Don't even say it's not okay, the I'm wrong an word. Okay, I'm so it's very... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> powered up, hyped up. Yeah, he's, from the morning. He, and his like, voice levels in terms of excitement, like, <laughs> vary. And I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm like, and from the morning, when it's not like I wake up and I'm smiling, oh, yes, it's a new day. Let's go and do this. I'm not like that. But from the morning already, like, I'm just, okay, the day has started, like, let's get on with it, you know what I mean? Yes, it takes me, like, maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes to just power up, mm -hmm. but after that, it's just like, okay, the day has started, let's continue. If the people in the house, yo, what's up, what's going on, you know, type of vibe, that's that's just who I am. To me, on the other hand, she has to, she's like, um, she's like an old car. <laughs> she needs to... It is especially it's like an old car in winter. <laughs> you need to go outside if you're leaving at seven o'clock. You need to wake up. Uh, you need to wake up at six, and then go and start the car, <laughs> and then it. come back inside, take a nap, wake up, shower. Before you shower, you go downstairs, see if everything is okay. Then come back, shower, get dressed, and then you get down to the car. Then now the engine is warm. It can. It can do its job, so that's do me. She yeah. needs. I she need needs. To defrost. <laughs> yeah, she needs. I to. need to like <laughs> proper defrost in the morning. Yeah. The only Anytime thing is from twelve saying from good twelve morning. before from yeah. like from twelve. If you meet do me before twelve, you are going to meet a different do me than the do me you'll meet after twelve. Yeah, but, and I thought yeah. like I had it. In, I I I thought. You know, when I started working, it was better. But until a colleague of mine mentioned that, like, before 12, I don't like talking to you. Or, <laughs> like, my even my answers are very short. It's mm. like, because it, usually because I want to be accommodating, if you ask me a question, I'll ask you mm. back, whatever, whatever, whatever. But mostly in the morning, I will just... I'm just still defrosting. Maybe after 12, that's where I start. Mm. It's not even with food or anything that yeah. makes me... It's just I'm it's not, just, that's how, I'm that's just not a is. morning person. Um, so our fights are mostly in the morning <laughs> because <laughs> I'm just like, why you are taking me? me? You when fight I wake with up. me in the morning. <laughs> no, he fights with me. Like, <laughs> he literally wake up, babe. 
like why would you say that like <laughs> you by you just saying wake up baby you're fighting with me because i'm like what do you mean <laughs> that time we have to go to gym we <laughs> like i'm just like <gasps> yeah no i'm not a morning person but that's one thing that we had to learn from each examples, other yeah um, it's examples that like what f- like you know what right now we are sitting here endorsing fat and said because we realized now in hindsight that it was actually the best idea like had we gone the any other way we would have had the fights that we were having in the first year of of fight and getting, setting like we would have had them in the first year of, of getting, getting married, married. And would have because most of the fights would have were based on if that like we should actually be married and mm. you wouldn't have gotten to learn the things that make us perfect for each other literally the reason why we are even sitting here having this conversation is because it's a conversation people shy away from mm. it's always in the church it's always yeah get married first then live with each other and everything and then i feel like the theme of marriage is difficult is around the fact that people get married before they really fully know what they're getting themselves mm. into before they know and like each you other don't properly. know like getting yourself into marriage is just a word it's just a formality mm. You are getting yourself into something by just into choosing a life, a li- like someone's life, and you have to join those lives. Like there are small things; the, it's it's literally the tiniest things. Like I leave the door open when I'm in the bathroom because I feel like bathrooms are too small. I I don't know where mm. it stems from, but I don't like closing. That's that could be a big thing from someone. So for Sanuzo to have lived with me long enough to know that I do this and mm. it's not a good habit, but he was like, "Okay, I can live with this." Because it's it, even though marriage is not and I hate I don't like I like saying this because people act like it's so permanent. It's like yeah. You know, you can undo it, but it's harder to undo than just a relationship. You yeah. know with a relationship you guys there's can a lot, choose there's to a be lot like of, you. There's a lot of there's things a lot involved. of things there's involved. Of there's family involved, involved now in everything. Yeah. So it's better that we went through the teething stages alone and yeah. we like we teased alone. We literally got to learn all those things. The relationship has the honeymoon phase and then there's after the honeymoon phase then you get there's the boredom where now you start nitpicking mm, things mm, like mm, that. Mm. So it's the same thing if you decide to fight and set or you don't. But mm. when you fight and set, you kind of like get to know somebody's quirks beforehand. Mm. So for example, a small thing like seeing if somebody's untidy or mm. if somebody's a messy person mm. yeah, or if somebody is, um, to, uh, you know, if you have OCD, you get to say, is this person a messy person is not, you know, or is, 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 is this person somebody that's loud? You know mm. what I mean? Because, oh, is it somebody that and you don't like a loud person? You know, it's 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 really the small. It's really the small things. It's not the big things like grand gestures. Yeah, it's, grand, it's gifting. Gifting. It's be- like always, all of, all, all always of, dressed all up. Of, all because of dressed it's up. Dates. Yes, you get to see this person you know, without. Mm. You get to know this person without makeup. You get to know how it like it, does this person bath. Mm. Like, yeah. you to, <laughs> do they actually <laughs> bath? Does this person bath? You know, <laughs> like you know, it's it's really the small things. How does this person's feet look? Do I, I, do, are, do, do I like ugly feet? Do I, do, do I you like know, pretty feet? You know, is it you know, like you get to know if, if this per, this person has a, is, is someone with a chronic illness. You know, you get you get to know the real person because if you're going to spend your life with somebody, you need to know the real person. Person, mm. not the person that is trying to be in a relationship, or not the person that's like, like yeah, I you would know. paint it more like dating and actually living with someone and being with them yeah. like most hours. It's mm. like Instagram, there's Instagram and then there's reality. Yes, I feel like dating is like Instagram, Instagram. you see the best parts of everyone's okay, lives, you, you, you see don't know like the, the best thing. parts, you don't know the real thing because at the end of the day, you can be 
on calls and um, texting and going on your dates until you live with someone and realize yeah. that every time they open a cabinet, they leave, they it, leave open. it open. Like, That's like and they leave all the cabinets open. They get oh. home, the, the, the pens are at the door. Yeah, and you know, yeah. Sandy, so when he gets home, he takes I'm off naked, his clothes. Bro. Like, he literally is a naked person. I didn't grow up in a in a naked home. Mm. There is such a thing, actually. There's naked homes and there's, like, yeah. we have to be very, like, you, I remember you know, very about weird our bodies. Day, so I just uh, be, like, I remember it was man. very weird the day your family was in Joburg. Yeah. And your, your mom But they was kind of know. Through. Everyone just knows now that you're, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I went to pick up, like, they were driving to where my mom oh, used to live. Oh, Boss, yeah, oh, I remember. Boss. And I came to pick them up topless because we were swimming. It was a big shock. Yeah, it was like, ha, <laughs> ha, ha. Like, it was a big thing. And it's those small it's things those, that make up, like, you know, I tolerating to, and I compromising to make, in relationships. I to yeah. just say something before I then also, change, like, move up the conversation. Going back to that thing that when you are trying to know somebody mm. or, like, it's very normal. It's like mm. even guys do this all the time. If you like somebody... Um, yes, you'll be yourself. Some guys won't be themselves, whatever, even women. But you, there'll be a strategy you're going to put in place to mm. try and interest the other person. Sometimes that thing goes... Sometimes people change themselves to interest somebody. Mm. I remember when I met Dumi, I was going through a phase of... even It, it started way before I met her. Even when I was with the person I was mm. with just before, just before I was with Dumi, I had, start, I had gone on a process of being alone and just like trying to friend zone everybody and like just not caring about like like being in a relationship i wanted to take that away because for me i'm a person that's prone to be in a relationship i'm a person that's prone to if i like somebody i'm going to want to be with them you know what i mean i'm going to want to be in a relationship be in a relationship with them so i was going through a process of just being able to choose whoever the one whoever I want to be with and choose be able to be in a space where I can choose to say okay now I'm going to pursue being able to just be friends with everybody female females mostly just be in a space where I can be friends with females and not be shaken by oh this person is beautiful oh this person is got this personality oh I'm kind of attracted to this person and just take that out of the window and stuff. In doing that, I kind of also created a persona for myself. It wasn't far from who I was, but it was it was a me that doesn't seem vulnerable in any type of way no. or form. Like it's just, oh, I'm friendly. Yes, I'm friendly, but I'm not gonna take um like you know, you know, it even got to a point where to me like with oh like with my ex for example mm. it even got to a point where she said oh but we are meant to be friends i'm like i'm not your friend yeah, like, yeah. you know i'm not your yeah. friend like he said that <laughs> like, to me I like, said I it to her said, i'm well. not your friend I said, I'm like, not and your friend. now we're like, dating and this guy is like no i'm not your friend don't call me that so before we even officially dated i remember um sandy so used to have this laugh it worked in the mysterious like yeah. i want to That's like what, this i want to know oh yeah, yeah i want to know more <laughs> about this guy i want to know more about this guy Actually, i didn't like laugh. him and everything it's he the way didn't i laugh, laugh on the channel he would and all be like that. nah he would laugh like <laughs> i can't even do it anymore <laughs> yeah like, I learned the love. It, it was like, <laughs> like it sounded natural at that time mm. Because that's the only version I knew. Him, mm. like, not fully laughing at things. Like, even if it's funny. Because for me, for me to know I genuinely like you, I have to have laughed more than anything mm. in that 30 <laughs> you see, minutes. I'm giggling. I yeah. Giggling wasn't a thing for in me, my bro. He will literally I be was like, not a giggler. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. And that's, that was done. You see the smile. So the first time he comes... <laughs> He, it the, the thing. when he turned 21 <laughs> I, he was drinking out of this jug thing it was and a I was, so now this guy who I've known for a while we've been chilling I know I kind of like him but there's this thing he doesn't laugh <laughs> so I was like do I really like him because I've dated someone or oh, by the time they were they were my ex but they said I laugh a lot 
Mm-hmm. And I was just like, kind of now I'm going to be with someone that doesn't laugh. They're going to feel like I laugh a lot as well. Cringe much. And then he comes to my place, like, with his jug, and he's just like, you know. So I Again, was just Again, it wasn't a jug. It was a vase. Okay, a vase. I don't know why you're <laughs> drinking from a vase anyway. It was my he 21st. Was turning, yeah, he was, turning, he was 20, <laughs> it was his 21st. We had only known each other for three months at that point. Um, but he came to me, he was just like, cause he called me initially and I was like, no, I'm studying. Then, um, he's, he's like, okay, I'll call again in an hour. Just like sharp. Then in an hour, you don't call, you came to my place wearing Vasco, Vasco, God, a gamas, guys. <laughs> so now I'm seeing that this person is not this perfect, always poised, always. I hurt. even had a walk. Uh, I like, had a posture. Yo, yeah, he I had a posture, like... a walk. Like he walked a certain way. He had a posture. He talked in a certain way. He laughed in a certain way. So now he comes here and I'm like, who the hell is this person? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that was not the first instance to tell you like how people actually yeah. do mask when they're dating. Mm. Because the first instance, ne, you went to Swaziland and mm. I was already, I was back because of that economics thing. Mm. I was back in, 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 like I was back at campus and I, it was winter school. Mm. So I was already back and everything and you came back and Instead of going straight to your place, you came to me and you were so excited, right? <laughs> then you get to my place and I see this beast in front of me. His hair's not cut. He's not smelling too good. Yeah. He's just like wearing weirdest clothes. And he's just like, yes, I'm so happy to see you. I was at the <laughs> farm. He's telling me about farm life. And I'm like, who is this person? And what happened? To s- a kryptonite dude. Yeah, like, like his, his, yeah, you see, now he was excited and he felt like he could be himself, but that was not the self he was presenting to me up until that point. So you could, Im- I, sh- I was shocked. Do you remember? I was just okay, mm. took me a, a thing and I was like, why do you look like this? Whatever. Mm. And then you told me, you were so excited, you were a child, like, and then, yeah, I, my heart started opening up because I was like, okay, this person is actually a human. And then on his 21st, which was still within the week of June, he comes, Vasco da Gama and Tate, like, and <laughs> he laughed, he was chuckling and laughing and I was like, ha! So this person can <laughs> laugh. You see, like, those are the, like, small things and that's, yeah. like, after that, I was like, okay, yeah, we can be girlfriend and boyfriend because I was just like, imagine being with someone that doesn't laugh. Like, every, because yeah. I, 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 I like to think of myself as funny, so now, if you're gonna laugh at my jokes, like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know that thing I do when, like, I didn't hear what you are saying, wh- what anyone is saying, and then I'm like, <laughs> like I always do I that. I can't even that's, do the laugh anymore. Yeah. That's how fake that thing was. We actually started spending a lot of time together after that. Mm. After that incident. After we said, after like... That, yeah. After that incident that Dumi just mentioned. So, throughout that whole time, I was still putting on a certain persona because I didn't want to be vulnerable. And... It was just it was just weird, but it worked because let me tell you guys, there's this there's this website. This I actually tried to look for this website um, after I told you about it. Gents, what was it? No, it's called so it was called so suave dot com. I started reading this website after my first major heartbreak in high school. That's when I started reading this website. And that's where I started practicing a lot of things. Luckily, I didn't read into that thing so much that I lost myself. But it helped me gain um, a lot of perspective and also gain a lot of looking into me and not the other person. Like, because, like, before I'd always, like, okay... Yeah, so fucking hot. So I would, I, I would do a lot of like, I would do like, oh you, my god, you get I'd, obsessed, I'd get obsessed with the, like, with the person. You'd be like, yeah, I'd so lose pretty. Myself. And like, and, no. and and you know, after reading that thing, I got to realize like, yeah, obsessing over somebody number one, you don't know, mm. and they are a human being, bro. Mm. Behind that beautiful face or behind that whatever it is that's making you go crazy, 
it's just literally a human being. And it's things that so so suave.com really made me that brew on his blogs. I wonder if he's even still alive or whatever, because that brew really helped me kind of like get to introspect and learn a lot about myself so that by the time I decide I want to date somebody or like to be honest it was because I wanted to fuck whoever I wanted to fuck I'm not even going to lie but like maturing and growing up it helped me realize that like it helped me realize that women are people like and getting to know them as people and getting to treat them like people getting to talk to them and also like being in a space where like how am i going to let you into my life just because you're beautiful mm. like what if you come in and yeah, you call like, half i don't even you, know you what are you what am I, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know like, you I, you know like, like a lot of like I don't even actually know i've you. seen like, <laughs> like how <laughs> adults like full grown men and women like mm. literally give up everything and anything just based on superficial, yeah, superficial things. Like, things like with women it's mostly like this person money. looks rich has money and then with men it's like this person is beautiful is sexy is sex. and i will fucking it's i sex. will it's i will leave else. my is wife sex. or mm. i will literally take my children's school fees and yes. give it and to I this, will person. Pay this person to get yeah. the boost. That's it. Until they decide to leave the wife and they're like, ha, substance. <laughs> or until you decide, oh, you know what, I'm going to leave my long-term exactly. person that we are building with to go with this person that For has money. Ganti, dololo, everything. Anyways, anywho, mm. anyhow, we digress. Yeah. Um. So I guess we were at a point where, okay, now you finally became yourself. You relaxed and oh, I was, yeah. I was, I was, we we then yeah and that th me being relaxed and me being myself really helped like really helped us actually then get into a space where now all the the walls were actually down mm. and now we were okay let's learn let's really learn each other let's actually spend time let's mm. actually let's actually spend time together and um get to know each other when you start when you take when you actually take that step like okay we're going to live together for me because i'm a person that's prone to like prone to if i'm going to be in a relationship i'm going to live with my partner because i don't like necessarily like uh, i'm an extrovert so i like being around people but if you're going to be somebody that's like my partner you are like one step above everybody else so i need to spend a lot of time with you otherwise i'm just going to end up seeing you as like a friend and now you just go back down trickle down to i don't see all you, of everyone yeah, like into, it's like it's like, your acquaintance yeah, yeah like yeah, like an acquaintance so like being in that space where now we are to we're together we are waking up next to each other like we are <laughs> you like it's 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 scary to think about that like now everything we're doing is like we're doing it together we are choosing to like okay this is who i am but because you're this person i'm going to like give something up of me mm. to make you comfortable mm. like the biggest fight the first big fight we've even had this conversation on our channel a lot of times mm. before the biggest fight one of the first big fights we had it was after we started living together and i said to do me look because for me i like being in a tidy space do me cleans do me is a clean person but she is messy like you are messy <laughs> i am messy but but messy. she's but she's she's messy uh but she cleans she cleans she, after a period of time she also gets frustrated by the mess and she cleans it up and she really knows how to freaking she like has very high standards of like a place being clean so i was like okay you know what we live together we live in the space together. We create this mess together. Because I also create a mess. You live in a space, obviously you're going to create a mess. But I can't be the one that's cleaning up all the time. Mm. Because like... Do because... Me Mm. Yeah, let me tell you the truth behind this name. I'm all about feminism and like killing patriarchy and everything like that. But now I was coming into a relationship mm. saying that, you know what, me, I'm not going to be cleaning and cooking cleaning and doing whatever. Guys, but <laughs> it's not his place anymore if I'm living there. Mm. I need to also play my part. Mm. Sandiso was not even saying, oh, you clean now because we live together. He was saying, help me clean because we both live here. Mm. You can't like make this place a mess. And I remember like there was this time Maya was coming 
And I was like, no, I'm going to meet her at my place because this place is such a mess. Mm. And you were so upset because you're like, it's a mess because we live here and you mm. also make a mess. <laughs> and now you expect me to make it clean. How how does mm. that work? And how does that thing? So I came here with all of these things, expecting him because it's his place. He must clean his place and everything like that. But because I was living there all the time, I had to clean mm. and I like the fact that like he had the conversation with me and that's one thing also that I learned living with him before I even we even thought of marriage that I can't be emotionally shut down or I can't not be held accountable for my actions because most of the time before when I dated I was just used to getting my way I was used to getting my way I I people I dated, I was pretty, I was whatever. So if I cried wolf, they would fold. Mm. And now I was in a real relationship where I was expected to be accountable, where it was just not me getting my way and just being loved unconditionally. When, Like, Saniso loves me unconditionally and conditions being like... But I had to be held accountable as well because to be a partner to someone, you also mm. need to play your you need part. To play your role. And we had that big fight mm. within the first few, two months of us, like now officially, not officially, it was mm. never official. According after to us, we practically uh, made it official. Yeah, after yeah. we made it official, but I'm I'm saying it was never official. The living together oh, yeah. <laughs> until I think we were married, yeah. we were just like yeah. But yeah. we lived together, and now we are living together for so many months. I'm refusing to clean whatever, and I'm messy. Like I have. I've never not had a lot of clothes. Mm. I think the mess becomes my clothes and me leaving things all over the all place. Over the place. Mm. And now I expect this man to clean because it's his place. And it was that thing, like that was the first thing that he was just like, this is actually a big thing. And that was something that I had to realize as well. Like, you know what? You are actually crazy for expecting this. Because at, at like most of the times, even as women, we come um, thinking based on like the... The big picture of the, like, Not even the, the big picture. You know, like how on social media and yeah, this is like, I mean, like as a woman, like, I will never clean for a man, mm. whatever. I'm, I'm not going to clean for a man, whatever. But at, at this in case, that was, no, that was mm. not a case. That was not the case. I was not cleaning yeah. for a man. I was cleaning in a space that I lived you were in. You cleaning for yourself. Because <laughs> I found, like, <laughs> I think you even found it odd because at the time mm. you met me, sorry. Mm. At the time you met me, I was fighting with my roommate for not wanting to keep our space yeah. clean. Because for me, I can't live with germs. I'm messy, but it has to be cleaned. Yeah. The place must be cleaned. So now I was not doing it at Sandy Sue's house because place because I was like, I'm cleaning for your daughter now. Now mm. <laughs> the whole yeah. me is cleaning for a man. But that was our first big fight, and it was something that made me realize that he he articulates his feelings and he does say whatever. And what did I do at that time? I silent treated him and I cleaned. And I'm sure he was like, what? <laughs> she can actually clean. <laughs> I am very good at cleaning. I will yeah. not lie. I am very... Like, when I clean my place versus when, like, a helper cleans my place, there's a huge difference. Mm. But do I like doing it? No. Do I choose to do it now that I can afford to have a helper? I don't. But it's something that in me I want to do. I, you know, I digress. So going back to, so I then, you told me you were open. You told me what you felt and what did I do? I I, I silent treated you. Mm. I was just like, I got angry by what he was and, saying. And that was also like another, a, another thing. thing that like, you get to learn how does a person deal, deal with with conflict because also there's this whole thing that there's, there's this there's this huge conception of good say now that you're married now that but little ball or now that i've i've done that i've done the things that like i've respected her family or whatever there's this huge expectation is like now she must be this certain way and also there's a there's also this huge misconception also on women's side as well that like okay now that we're married this is how i must act or this is how i must do whatever and 
then the conversation then moves away from um you are two people who are in a relationship Mar- like to me said earlier in the podcast marriage i want to do one of these things marriage is just a word which like means the like you guys are making a union yeah 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 doing a covenant in front of god and in front of you with witnesses which are your family and now you are married saying you are going to spend your life together and you are you know that's marriage is just a word can i get an Dango. oh yes Dango. oh yes Dango. <laughs> So yeah, marriage is just a word. And then there's this also like a huge pressure from both sides of both sides of the relationship. Good say, okay, now second expectation, yeah, good say second expectation. Now I'm saying my god. Now this is my expectation. Saying saying in vote. Now there's this whole thing like, okay, things you know, there's this there's this added pressure. So sometimes you get to actually not experience the experience the person learn mm. the person because now there's that also added pressure from outside you can sometimes then it's it's hard to be yourself because well, now you send you so we have to look at to allow it until yeah ten. you know you don't know what what this person yeah. like to me has to sleep till 10 or whatever yes. it's not a has but through living with me for so yeah, long you know, I know why I, yeah i know that mm. it's, it's not even a thing like she's lazy yeah or, no or, i was speaking on those things our expectations mm, but, the pressures yeah. are so much there that like now if you've been dating someone just dating they don't know your habits in terms of sleeping mm. if you even like you like cooking whatever like even if you're bringing them like lunches what if mm. you were buying the lunches you know that type yeah. of thing so so that's what i'm saying that mm. like for for me it's another reason why i advocate for fat and setting because it allows it allows you without pressures to actually get to be with your partner and see how compatible you are at actually living together every single day i know obviously it's not like some people literally can't fight and say mm. because like you live at home or whatever all these situations that make it impossible, yeah, impossible. for you to mm. fight and set but if you are able to that's why for me i advocate for it because without any of the pressure of umshado or without any of the pressure of family expectations or because it's a it's a it's a real thing yeah and we are very we married. are we are very weird we are very weird for for like letting our relationship dictate all the expectations from the family side or if the expectations from other people with our with our marriage or whatever they don't come on to us we explain goes this is what's happening and that's that the relationship comes before anything else we're very weird for that mm. we're, because a lot because, of people because the norm once they're is married that, like yes. family dictates as family well dictates like what everything. happens everyone mm. everyone who's anyone has a has a has, voice has a say, has and, a say and, and everybody is like everybody now has yeah. advised so oh, as my court you should what that as, as 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 a husband you should what what and what what so for me it's it's really a big it was really a big thing to be able to get to know you mm. before i get to know your family mm. i got to that point because we're talking about like learning how the to bigger. um learning how to like um l- not learning how to resolve a conflict in with in our in our sense because mm. obviously different people have different personalities but again you only learn those things when, when you live when, together exactly. or where you get to spend a lot of time together that's where mm. you learn even like people's different conflict and also resolution styles in a space and also being in a space where you actually want to learn how to resolve the conflict because mm-hmm. imagine now you're in a situation where there was a lot of pressure for you to get like just just this is just an example yeah. like now there was a lot of pressure for you to get married there's a lot of pressure that's coming from family sides is also now say for example you're getting married at a point in time where you're in your in your in your in your 20s you're in early stages of your career there was a loan for a wedding there was mm-hmm. a loan for lobola you know there might have been a bond that now has been taken because now you wanted to yeah, get a house yeah, because yeah. because you got married there's cars that are there also you know there's I- imagine where kids to the and mix. then I, I, 
And then there's also a child involved in that as well. And then now you two just got married, but you hadn't had time to learn each other properly. And now you're married, you're in that house, you're with the children or the child, you're together with that partner. Now you've never had conflict where you had to deal with it because you're together. You don't have an option. Good, they would say, okay, you're not screw this, I'm going to my place or screw this, I'm going wherever. Now you're in that house, you're together. The only thing out of it is you're running away. Uh, I'm going to go for a drive, whatever. Mm. Now, now, now you're there. Imagine all of those pressures and you, are ju- you just got married. Is mm. the, you know, is there even space inside there for, for someone you to, to be want emotionally to learn mature, inter- immature? To, because to, you're yeah. like, right now, the bank is calling this, there's, this, and yeah, this, and this. You can't silent on. treatment me, yeah. or you can't just go with the boys and everything like that. Yeah. But it, it, for us, we got to learn like our different conflict resolution styles, and we had to actually improve mm. on my side. Because with the first example of our first big fight, um, I said. Sa- Saniso expresses everything da 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 da. Instead of me saying, "Okay, this is my my part," da da, I silent treat him. Silent treatment has been a resolution growing up in my home that so, some like you get silent treated until you apologize. Then after you apologize, we just move on. But what the problem with that is is like there's never actually a resolution of the issue. Of the issue. It's just that like One you said sorry because know what it, the issue it's is. like it's a it's a it's a tactic to make someone very like because you you just got very uncomfortable. Like mm. cause now I'm not speaking to you at all, whatever. You're just drifting apart. Like you are still angry. You still feel the same way. Like me silent treating you was didn't help Mm. and you did say sorry at some point to be like okay but still this is valid we need to talk about this and you did say like you can't be with someone that does silent treatment as a thing because if there's an issue we need to talk about it we Mm. are not gonna like you're not gonna just silent treat me and then expect an apology so that you can stop silent treatment silent treating <laughs> i know it's silent treatment mm. but it's yes yeah silent treating the yeah person. you're yeah. silent treating the person which is crazy right um so that's another big thing that we got to work mm. on i also the got first to year. learn to how to speak to you yeah because um i i get very emotional like i, I get very emotional and also um there were there were points in time where I would get very angry, like um, a very angry where I'm just shouting or, or 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 and things like that. I had to learn to um, articulate what I'm saying, mm. learn to speak, you know, learn that you don't have to be shouting to get a point across because mm. you shouting just you're just trying to show that you're frustrated mm. and the other page is trying to get the other person to back down and it doesn't help a situation because the other person also like for in, in Dumi's case she she just she can't handle that it's just like okay now we're shouting why are we shouting i'm out type of vibe i can't i can't you know i can't handle I can't, shouting I, 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 exactly. so like I, as soon as like I will I will conflict resolute mm. if we are talking like normal people as soon as the shouting that's involved I really immediately feel mm. like small and I I feel overwhelmed I feel scared I feel so many things and it's it's that case I've I've explained to him it's not only with him it's as soon as I get shouted at it becomes an issue and I I I check out. So now, even if you are saying that don't silent treat me, also you talk to me properly, then I'll talk to you back instead of like you now shouting and expecting me to shout back because I'll never do that. I will never shout. Yeah, and also just in general, um, shouting doesn't help in a ca- in, in anything yeah, because it if now anything. two people are shouting at each other the point doesn't get across mm. like you taught me to communicate in a sense of okay yes i am the one that pushed for communication in a relationship but uncomfortable communication was something i needed to learn 
to have even if it's not about me getting my communication across it was also listening and actually hearing your point as well because mm. it's it, it's all good and well that i'm like yeah let's communicate or whatever but when it came to now me hearing from the other side or me receiving on being on the receiving end of being held accountable or whatever for a long time it was something that like you know so that also for me is something that that like i got to i i got to learn within within that within that space of within that space of us being together and also it's been a, it, it it was a process and i only got to being at a point where i'm ready to learn ready to listen because of we started living together we i started like learning you and you know things like that it wasn't something that i just did just from the get-go as well mm. you, you get what i'm saying mm. so it was yeah so yeah living together really helped really, yeah in, it, in, it, in it, the, ha- in, in it helped sense. a it lot helped us in, in us sense. have ease and peace of mind mm. once we decided like we're gonna get married officially like we sh- we knew both of us our biggest challenges right now mm. is going to be now people I don't want our families, not people, guys. Our families, yeah. the like, but I was just, just the we're saying, like, as in, like, external factors, external yeah. factors trying to now factor in into our relationship. Mm. But because we were so strong by then, we knew, like, you know what, we've established this, we know what we like, we know what we don't like, we know what we're not going to start introducing. So, like, we are getting married so that our families can be part of this, but. Yeah, it was we, at a point we, where we were, were ready. Strong. To, it, I think we were, at, we were at a strong point. Yeah, we were at a we were at a strong we were at a very strong point with regards to the relationship because living together and spending all our time together kind of then made our life being about us and mm-hmm. us choosing to be together in that space then actually made our life being about us. Like I was saying earlier, I got to learn you before I got to meet your family and get mm. to learn and understand your family and all of that. Same with same with me. You got to learn me before you met my family. Yeah, through our fat and setting, we actually got to learn and actually made made a it's a conscious a decision and uh, 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 an informed an informed i would say in us saying mm. yes we were gonna get married it was a very very informed decision mm. i knew what mm. i was getting into mm. i knew what i was gonna expect how I, I knew your thought processes how you do things your routines how you prefer things you knew that and i decided you know what I, I can live with this and I like it. The ones that I, I, I had to make compromises on, I was like, okay, this is a compromise I'm willing to make. Because at the end of the day, we are not saying, oh yeah, fat and set is just going to fix all yeah, your problems. Fix, yeah. Fat and set also may it's, make you mm-hmm. realize that, you know what, this is not the person I want to yes, be with and you yes. get to leave before yes, you even make before, a big decision. Yes. Mm. Please just also remember, guys, when you have these conversations, it's not like, yeah, you go and do this, mm, whatever. Don't. We always mm. talk, we always share the perspective of our relationship and how it helped us and why we feel it helped us and why maybe we advocate for certain things but to each their own and uh, you can obviously communicate you can you can always have a discussion in the comment section if you disagree with us if you agree mm, with us okay. or whatever mm. it's okay we're not like saying that's the way of the bible we're always just sharing our perspective living together really set the tone for our relationship because it i i said this earlier now in the podcast but it really created that space of good see the very first thing before any factor before my personal things before Dumi's personal things before the family comes in before anyone else the relationship comes first the fat and setting and being together like from there helped us learn that we actually create what's the best space for us to be in we actually create what's the best partnership for us to be in. And I wish everybody who's in a relationship could get to experience that. Not the fight and setting, could get to experience the you two 
choosing the space that you you want to be in in that relationship mm. you two setting the tone of your relationship and you two being able to be in a space where you get to put that relationship first before any and everything else especially before family especially before yeah work or also anything this or applies. church or anything else at the end of the day you two are spending your lives together mm. it's it's not what the church tells you to do in your relationship that should should like really drive it should be something that okay you can hear that okay thanks bring it into the table is someone's gonna help yes or no but it's you too that should make the decisions based on i've learned this person this mm. person has learned me mm. does this work for me and her mm. does this work for us yeah. what is it that we are deciding we want our relationship yeah. to be what is mm. it that we are deciding mm. our life is going to be because at the end of the day it's the two of you for the rest of, of your, your life. life. If you want to make it a good ride, a pleasurable ride and everything about yes. like literally learn each other and choose each other and make compromises that are import like to make each other happy. Dango. Because at the end of the day you can't hear be like, Oh yeah, now we're married. You are not going to go out anymore. You are not going to be with your friends anymore. Whatever. Marriage is not like that. Marriage at church, they say, now we delete everyone else and do that. And then now there's this resentment against each other because you cut out parts of your life. You cut out certain things that you actually liked and everything like that. So it's not only with fat and set where you learn these things. Because a lot of cases... It's not only going to be fat and set. A lot of cases, people are going to stick to the traditional route, which I support as well. It's fine. Do it. If it works for you, do it. Okay. Do what works, do for, what you. works for you. Just expect that it's not going to be roses and flowers yes. only. Because yes. at the end of the day, a partnership, even a measure in business, you still, like them, like, one company coming with another company. It's they had their yeah. own processes. This one had their own processes. Mm. The workers were used to this, this side, this. So with every, with two people coming together, with companies coming together, like just two separate entities coming together to make one thing, there's a lot of compromise. Mm. There's a lot of changes. There's mm. a lot of uh, things that you need to let go of or adopt and everything like that mm. so just be ready for that and yes love needs to be for me i still say love needs to be there in that relationship because yes. that's what will be like okay is this love is a glue do it's i love not always it, it, there, it's, it's not it's, always there but it's the glue for most there. of the things but love only cannot sustain yes you can't be like okay you know what i'm gonna compromise say for instance you are someone that that really 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 will not be with someone that drinks. Then you're like, oh yeah, I love this person, so it's fine, I'm gonna tolerate it. Deal breakers are deal breakers. Mm. Like, le know those things. I wish relationships could be discussed more and more and a lot of people can discuss the real things because people do not discuss the real things. They do not discuss messiness. They don't mm. discuss. They're just like, oh, yeah, love. Instagram. Love is thinness. Oh, my God, we have one sheet. Instagram no. vibes. Like, like, the real things will come. And I would imagine that the more you get set in your ways and the more, like, you build you, a routine, you build a routine you build a and life. everything, it's harder to get mm. someone in that. So into that routine and life that you like and everything but if you relinquish control and you really want a relationship and you want to be open about your relationship open yourself up to learning the next person and make your decisions based on okay now i know everything about this person am i willing to live with this not even everything now you know enough more enough yeah you can never know you learn a person every, every day. single day every single like, day to this day the, i'm still learning sandy so the the other biggest blessing that that we have had to be in a relationship from when we were younger is that we have gotten to experience our 20s together mm. we have gotten to experience figuring life out together 
we've gotten to create the routines that are the basis of our life together. The basis of my life is really like my life is not really my life without my wife. Mm. You know what I mean? My wife's life is not really a life without me. That's the biggest blessing for us because we wanted to be in a relationship. That's the biggest blessing for us. We've gone through we've gone through the different changes um in our 20s. We've gone through um for me studying uh, starting businesses whilst we were in varsity to those bi- to trying to turn an idea into a business and it not becoming a business and putting money that I don't have into that to working and um, losing that, like to working and that job being able to help us start our life independently, you know, um, to making a lot of financial mistakes. We'll probably still make financial mistakes as we grow, but within this time frame, making financial mistakes, losing the job, having nothing starting again having nothing besides our nothing besides our relationship um god first and our relationship and building again and starting other businesses within having those businesses running losing other businesses you know we've gotten to We've gotten to go through all of those things together. To me, going through different changes, and I'm not going to speak for her because it's her, it's her things to speak about, but to me, going through a lot of different phases in her life within her 20s, which are, the, which are defining what our life is going to be in our 40s, in our 50s, in our 60s, however long God gives us to live, the things that have defined everything we think about now. The way we think, the way we talk, the way we dream, the way all of that has been defined in our 20s and we've got to experience that together. And um, living together was the beginning of all of that. So I can imagine, like what you're saying, I can imagine how difficult it is if now you've gone through that that the whole, that whole thing on your own you've got out of varsity or maybe you went you didn't even go to varsity you went straight into business or into career or whatever and you've now throughout all of these years you have a routine mm. you have things that work for you 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 know where you get your income mm. you, you know you know you have your routines you you, you know you have all you of those everything. things you like, know everything you know your life works this, you know like <laughs> yeah. s- for instance um Literally, when you come back from work, you listen to your music, you mm. do like that's your coming routine, that's what you do, yeah. And then somebody just comes in. If I were to visually put it, I'm that type of person where you have a Lego, like you know, that the do- dominoes mm. set up, and I'll be like, What if you remove these three things? Like, yeah. I'm just that type of yeah. person, like, mm. and you will get a partner that maybe ask that or be like oh what if you do it this before way before you even mm. get to getting a partner imagine you have all of those things in place mm. and now you have to go into the pool of trying to get a partner mm. like you know we see it on social media every day mm. how like jolo is like dribbling people mm. or, oh, it's like, hard, or, or it's like, hard or whatever like relationships start relationship, and you know they what stop I mean? yeah it starts and they stop you, you you're with this person this person was everything you know imagine how difficult it is after now you've learned who you who not i won't say who you are but you've kind of gotten comfortable with the person you are as an adult and then now you have to bring an extra person into your life and now you have to start unlearning all of those things like you know um we do we <laughs> oh, industrial God. psychology <laughs> and um you know, that textbook was huge uh that's the most studying i've ever had to do in my life I digress. But one of the things was like, it, it's harder to teach older people mm. um, new things. So, and older guys, we are getting older. The yeah. more you age, the more you're set in your ways. Mm. And like, it, when you're 45 and they introduce a new system at work, it's harder to adopt than when you're 22 mm. or 23. So that's like the, the example it, within a workplace, right? Mm. I, I Like that was just part of my BCom course. I didn't do psychology, but 
that fact has always remained interesting for me just observing parents like they will ask you okay how do you do this with the phone whatever and i'm like if you give me a phone right now i know everything about it within a week and i just mm. press around mm. do whatever but because the inability or the lack of interest to even be learning new things when yeah, you get older yeah. it becomes there so because imagine life is now meant, because life is meant to not be mm, life is meant to be easy like easy yeah, going. Like, like literally the, i learned oh. to even like i fought to get here now it must be now I must, like cuz like, i must learn, go to the train guys, again guys we all know the same way school is difficult yeah. learning life and yeah. learning certain things is yeah. very difficult so once you feel comfortable in that and someone wants to like Abru- Uproot everything. everything it's hard so i can i can and yeah. i sympathize and i know and god forbid we don't have to start mm. a relationship even the inside joke yeah, even the inside jokes like we have our own way of communication <laughs> yeah. and like yeah, yeah we like, had to have like, our own way because the sometimes where english fails but we can't speak each other's languages mm-hmm. so like we have our own language and <laughs> it's yeah. uh, all i'm saying is i i can really sympathize with the strive of trying to date like after you've gone through so much in life because mm. imagine how how i, I don't want to say the word hard but like for lack of a better word imagine how hard it felt in the forming stages of our relationship mm to change the small the small things which made us who we are but then and again like, someone oh, might argue i want to say this because right now it's like the baby chat so yeah so it it it, it we are imagining it would be hard yeah. but what if that person uh, deliberately Le- did that because they feel like it would be easier, easier. to date once they understood, once they understood themselves, themselves and they understood yes. articulation and everything yes. same way for me if someone says yes. like you are going to be struggling with having kids at like an older age now you're going to be like f- and yeah. i'm like it's not going to be such a struggle for me because yeah. i will be at a point where life is easier in terms of career yeah. like so it yeah. out and i have money and i have this yeah. so the difficulty saying, that you are referring to is not going to be the same for, for me for everybody mm. all i'm saying is remember even when i started this conversation mm. i was basing this off like i see a lot of people mm. on social media saying whatever things mm. so in any case now nah, i'm not saying like it's that for everybody because everybody's different and it's different and i get i'm just saying now nah, i'm just imagining mm. like from my perspective mm. if for example i didn't get into this type of relationship mm. maybe i would be in and out of relationships and i would have been checked out as a person mm. because for me it's literally two things that have been really important from when i was young one thing very first i knew i was going to be wealthy and number two i knew that i wanted somebody to help me build that thing cuz I didn't want to do it alone and I knew that I wanted to be with somebody from a very young age and I wanted to be with somebody that's going to be a partner so I was most likely going to be in and out of relationships but I know I was never going to commit to somebody get married or whatever to somebody where I felt like mm mm they don't of, form part of what you part of always exactly. imagined as a child um, which is no not imagined as no, a child no 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 imagine like, but what you, your life you the life you prayed for and the life that you yeah. set up you set out for yes i was never going to be with somebody that like into i was never going to settle like for somebody that didn't give me the bare basic of wanting to be a partner Mm. regardless of which stage of my life I'm in mm. but I knew that I before the wealth came I wanted to be with somebody if the wealth came before that then I would have to struggle and not struggle I would have to figure out who it would be harder to then be with somebody so that's why I'm saying like I can imagine the struggle of somebody that's built their life because I'm talking from my own perspective because for me in my mind um if I was not in this relationship Mm. I would have checked out of trying cuz I focused a lot on trying to build myself so I can be 
I can know myself enough that if I'm with somebody, I'm not forcing them to be with somebody they don't want to be with. Mm. But enough to know that if I'm with somebody that really gives me the things that really are important to me, if there's parts of me that, that I need to change, I need to work on. So, like, I really wanted to do that. So I can't imagine if now, if this hasn't happened, I would have probably checked out of on trying on... You- but I, I don't think know. there's like literally different uh, for me i believe as a person for yeah. me like this relationship was the best thing that's ever happened to to my life and i feel like it's a, a huge blessing and everything like mm. that but i feel like it's a big 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 um statement to make that you would have checked out and everything you don't know what the cards that's what, mean I'm, saying. That's what you, I'm saying. I'm you're right thinking now, from the you're perspective thinking, of this. Yeah, you are thinking <laughs> yeah. in comparison to. Yeah. So if you didn't know this, you would have not known Maybe any I type. I would have probably keep you, on being yeah. in and out. That's what I'm saying. I would have probably been but, in and out. Oh, you could have met with someone. Another. Or you would have found someone that kind of fits, you know, and then... And, and then, then struggle in the relationship. Yeah, you know, like that type of thing. Yeah. Anything could have happened. And anything could happen... For, like you have to count your blessings i count my blessing so every time I. of that like the fact that like we were very, uh, blessed, we were very blessed to, to get into a relationship and find each other and understand each other mm. and be about the goals that we wanted because also another thing that people don't get like you come to me as to me who i am my husband wanted a partner that's going to help him build and build wealth and be smart be this and you expect me to clean and cook and, and relate to you. I, I don't relate. I mm. honestly don't relate because I've never been there and that's not what my husband sought out to in a partner. Should I be health? Am I helpful? And do we do this? Because th- for us, it's day to day. It's unnecessary. Are we yeah. going to starve and hunger and live, <laughs> live in a filthy place? No. But he's his thing looking for a partner was looking for someone that will help him build a vision and i'd like to think that i've been someone that helps direct don't talk about me only also talk about yourself when you're looking for a partner you know i'm going well. to talk that yeah. i'm gonna talk about that <laughs> no, as well that i didn't saying... like i didn't like oh yeah <laughs> like, the, the now it's going it's to be like, like now it's oh, going yeah, to be like yeah the man, the man for like, a certain partner and, now, and everything like and, and now then, you're submitting yeah, to yeah in the <laughs> same way for me i didn't look for in daughter must uh. in daughter must <laughs> i looked for love i wanted to be genuinely loved and understood and supported Mm -hmm. and affirmed and and supported in the fact that i had big ass dreams like growing up i've always had (laughs) i've always had big dreams never expressed them a lot because i was surrounded a lot with no that's crazy or who have you ever heard that Mm went successful that's done that but i've always had Big dreams. Sanuso knows I've always had big dreams. Even before him, he didn't activate them. I've always had. I've always had dreams of I'm going to be big. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be, I'm going to change lives. I'm going to be in spaces that people didn't think were normal at the point. Like when you met me, I was already about, I want to start a blog. I want to, yes, granted, I saw that from Bridget, but I, actually like wanted to pursue it more because it was not a normal thing i came from a place where middle class is doctors and nurses and everything but i wanted to be in business i wanted to do fashion i wanted to do so many things but also in that i was also so dedicated and focused in i want to make money i know what my sanuso made me always knowing what my next step is, knowing what's, what's next. I always had a plan. And it's something you that know, I really it, loved about yes, you. Yes, but I, it, I yeah. needed to be with someone that supported that this person is just going to do her thing. Is 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 She's just going to be a firecracker and that's okay. My husband had a very clear vision and had a very clear prayer that he prayed from when he was young. And he says it so many times, and I'm appreciative that God found me and I could be that for him. I'll hold it. No, I'll hold it. Okay. Um, like that, 
God answered his prayer and I was that for him. I never had a specific prayer and said, oh, this is the husband I needed to be. But I am glad that God saw that this is the person that would support everything that I want to be and be about it and be okay with it. Because there, there are a lot of times where uh, my dreams made me miserable and my husband made it okay for me because I was like, I'm going to keep pushing even though like, you know, there were certain parts where it's like, okay, now it's crazy that you are still pushing because what the hell. <laughs> but he knew that it's important for me to have money, my own money and my own independence and everything like that. And I've never used that as been like, oh yeah, me, I'm an independent woman, but it's important for me in a relationship to be able to contribute, to be able to be growing and also being you know, I'm not going to just be like the wealthy man's wife. Mm -hmm. And even though I contribute to him mentally, like I, I strengthen him, I talk to him and everything like that, it's important to me as well that I'm holding my own, I'm doing my own thing, I'm growing in my own things, and I'm thing. and he's just been like, yes, my biggest cheerleader, my biggest, like he just gets me, and it's, it's amazing. So God blessed us in that way immensely. immensely, immeasurably. Like it's crazy how we were so blessed to get each other, but we would have never even gotten to the stage of being that for each other had we not going got through the little quirks. Because it's little quirks at the end of the day. You understand, like, okay, you know you know this person is not going to press the Colgate right. Sandiso wants to do the Colgate properly, and I want to do it this way. But it's those things that... I can live with this because the bigger things and the things that really matter to me are, yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. finish the sentence. No, like yeah. the, the, <laughs> the, the small things are the things that, um, the things that make you um, realize if like a small, if a small thing is a deal breaker, it's going to be a problem because mm. the small things are character traits. Mm. Those are things. Is it always oh, characteristics? I, I think it's character traits. Oh, it's, no, it's character, character traits. traits. Those are like things if, that you can't really. As a child, really... I've always been pressing mm. things like in the middle, mm. like you making our relationship horrible over that one thing yeah. every morning. Character traits are really things that sometimes it's difficult for you to 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 let go of for example like with me when i get into the house i take off my clothes sometimes i leave my clothes wherever with do me it's like putting things all over the place or whatever excuse me but those are the things that for us don't really matter the things that she does for me on a personal level that are things that um make me as a person yeah make me a person uh grow and as a person be able to be the person she needs me to be those are the things that are important and those are things that are the not the deal breakers for us so for me i will always choose her and i will always choose our relationship because of that it's really simple it's it's actually very simple you choose me because I'm perfect for you and I'm perfect for you because the deal breakers, the reason you choose me and choose our relationship is because we're able to talk about the deal breakers and thank God my deal breakers were not things that were in Dumi's characteristics or traits and her deal breakers were not things that were in my characteristics or traits. Obviously, there were annoyances and nuances. Yeah, annoyances. <laughs> with, all That's what I'm saying. Like people part. think, oh yeah, oh it's rosy. Every Siluso is speaks on loudspeaker every day, <laughs> and I'm just like, Dumi has her phone on one volume every single day. <laughs> <laughs> but and this is but my this phone. Is not, this is not a yeah, call that out. type of thing. Like yeah, no. As <laughs> in this, we are not like oh yeah, everything is perfect and everything. But the things we find about is like, 
on a sibling basis okay unless you hate your sibling i don't hate my sibling <laughs> but she can be annoying like those type of things where you yeah. like ah wamboga but like that know. those type of things but drill do break us that formed my relationship um i'm glad that i could learn her you know what going into the marriage i was at ease because sanisos character traits didn't form t- part of my deal breakers guys some people's character traits are cheating like <laughs> or liar oh lying for me is very big cheating the thing is i, ca- I don't know if it's a character trait because do you do it since you are young Maybe if you lie since you're young, but you can't talk about that. But I'm saying like, we're lying about even the smallest thing. Because for me, it's in the small things. It's not like in lying and seeing a serial, serial liar. liar or whatever yeah. no yeah that was just because one example of the fact that like Ev- yeah everybody yeah. lies That's but true. it's in it's in now everything yeah, now like, i can't trust in, anything you say yeah he can't be like, oh because in, in the same <laughs> breath he mm. can't be so honest be like yeah 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 you actually are fat in those jeans <laughs> or those type of things <laughs> like i i fyi so. i've never in my life because i appreciate breathing i've never <laughs> said that yeah so ever. those type of things that's fine but i we got uh, the biggest thing we got to learn that okay cool yeah this person's quirks and annoyances are things i can live with mm. we thank god that we're able to have these type of conversations and we just really hope that um you know actually when when in the free state um when the free state the last, last week the last weekend and we met a housemate we I forgot to ask her what her name is. So, oh, yeah. so shout out to you, housemates. If you're watching this and you're this far, just drop a comment in the thing. Say, it was me. It was me. <laughs> just if you're here. Yeah. But it was really great um, meeting you because um, she, she said that, like, you know, the content we make really touches people. And um, um, that's another blessing that's really huge. And we thank you for that. Anyway, is there anything else that you want to say before we close? Bang, 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 bang. Bye. Wait, what is that? No, that's laughing. There's a something. No, we don't have. Oh, we don't. It's fine. We don't have a fail. See. Oh, yes. And Danko. Can I oh, get yes. it? Oh, yes. Danko. Oh, yes. <laughs> Danko. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please engage. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Um, Obviously, we Sandiso did say we are sharing these things from our perspective. If and we are not saying any other alternative is worse than to each their own. Yeah. We're just sharing from our relationship perspective. And again, the same way we say that like um, you know, external factors and whatnot. We anything are else, external if, factors. If exactly factors. if there's anything that you get we from our things, we are external factors are sharing external our own opinion. Sharing our own opinion. <laughs> so, it doesn't have to make up your life. If yes. it's something that you feel makes sense and you want to try do try mm. it. If you feel like it's not intrinsic with your moral values or what you believe and what you think, mm. you discard it or you don't use it. We do not constitute as relationship advice or a relationship master class or whatever. We're sharing from our perspective and our experience and, our experience. and so, what worked and what worked for us. We are advocates of find what works for you and for people in relationships. Find what works for your part for you and your partner. Learn yourself so that you can learn yourself understand yourself so that when you are in a space you want to be with somebody else you are in a space you know yourself and you are in a space you are open to learning a partner yeah. learn yourself learn your deal breaker so you're able to be a blessing in your partner's life the same way you expect a partner to be a blessing in your life and that's it if you are listening to us from spotify or any streaming platform please do follow if it's subscribe or whatever it is please do it it's free guys and if you're watching us on youtube and the subscribe button is red click it make it great click the notification bell so you don't miss the notification every time we post we'll see you soon